the public needs to trust that these technologies can do what they're supposed to do to improve safety and mobility without just taking our word for it. I'm Bob Brady. I'm with the Texas A&M Transportation Institute. I'm a senior research scientist and a division head. I'm passionate about safety and mobility, and that's why we went after the V2X Accelerator Grants to be able to bring these types of technologies to the traveling public. At ITS World Congress here, we're featuring our Texas Trust project. So the booth behind us talks about the 15 different use cases that we have. So what we decided to do in our proposal to the USDOT was to go broad with the number of use cases and try to really bring out where V2X can provide safety and mobility benefits across the entire ecosystem. So we have things in here like flood warning and high-speed curve warnings, in addition to the traditional signal phase and timing and preemption type of things. So our project is really looking at a broad set of use cases and trying to determine their capability to help transform the transportation environment. So V2X technologies, or CV2X as it's often called as well, is basically an outgrowth from the DSRC technologies that existed in the past. Really, we've been experimenting with these types of technologies for about two decades, but we're finally at the tipping point where we can get a lot of these innovations on the road and actually see how everything is working. In terms of the data that we're gonna be pulling, we're, we're looking at the performance measures associated with all 15 different use cases. So it's going to be an immense amount of data and a huge data management challenge for us. But at the same time, in addition to your traditional information about speed and heading and everything else, we also have to bring in what all the flood alerts were, what all of the high speed curve warnings are, what's the weather associated with that because the curve speed warnings would change in weather. So we have to bring in uh, data from across the entire ecosystem of the transportation uh, infrastructure and the environment around it in order to ascertain the benefits of these use cases. One of our premier providers on the VDEX project is Applied Information, and we're partnering with them on the use of RSUs, FMUs, and OBUs. And as part of that, their software suite of OBU applications, and in addition, uh, some of their web-based products such as Glance, are going to provide significant insights into uh, some of our use cases. We come to ITS World Congress because it is the premier place to gather to talk about innovation, technologies, and how to move transportation forward. We've always believed that ITS World Congress is a show where innovation, mobility, safety, and the technologies that provide that can all come together. And TTI has always been a big proponent of that. You know, obviously safety is our first concern, just like it is with any IOO that's operating roadways. I would like to highlight our website, v2xtexastrust.com. We plan to make this a very innovative website in terms of showcasing all of our 15 different use cases, having the systems engineering documents on there for each individual use case for both the technical folks and the public folks. We really wanna work on that trust aspect of it. That's why it's part of our name. The public needs to trust that these technologies can do what they're supposed to do to improve safety and mobility without just taking our word for it. They need to experience it. We want to do videos with some of our partners as we have the, the 15 different use cases. So I think that's a very important part of outreach and education that's going to be associated with our project. And all three of the grant sites are doing that as part of the contract and part of the awareness of USDOT that they need to promote these types of things and to build the trust across everybody.